What's going on guys? It's Connor here. Um, I'm currently in on this trade right now. Um, and so I wanted to catch something in live time for you, like an A perfect setup, because this is definitely one that I got in on. Um, and so I caught this one right at um I get in right at about 145. Uh, I think I got in right at 146. And as you can see, this thing's just ripping up. Um its total move today so far is 27%. So it's up from about, you know, the dollar 35 area up to 164, 165ish. Um, we're pushing on the 165 mark right now. Um, so so far this is a solid trade and this is like an A1 setup right here. So it popped up on my scanner um, and I came across it when I think it was up about 12% or something like that. So I looked into it and I noticed this nice uptrend and then I started to see this pullback, right? And when I seen this pullback, I was waiting for the second red candle to touch close to the nine uh, moving average. And then I waited for the first green one to break above this high and I was in long. So let me zoom in a little bit more. So eh, you'll probably actually, you know, let me zoom back out. It'll probably look a little bit better on the other screen or if I'm zoomed out some. So um, I waited for this green candle to break above the high of this red and then I went long on it and I've just been riding it up all the way because it's had just a perfect setup. It's There's a lot of traders watching us. Look at the volume. Um, right now, this is where things may start to take a turn and I might have to sell out. Because if you notice, it's been touching the nine moving average. You know, after about three or two, um, and once it touches again, it pops up. So right here, it's been fiddling around, and it's having trouble getting through this 164 mark. But if we can pop through this, which I think we will, um, we're going to keep going up. See right there. So this is things you want to find. You want to find trades like this where there's a lot of volume, and people, you traders, are respecting this nine moving average. Because if you notice, it started going, started breaking above it. And once it gets a little high above the nine, it'll sell off, tap it, come back up, trade sideways, tap it, come back up, trade sideways, tap it, come back up. So this, um, by the end of the day, if you guys run your stock screeners, this one's going to pop up on there for biggest gains of the day. Um, and I've seen setups like this, and these are ones that can run, you know, 100, you know, 130% in one day just by slowly trickling all the way up there. Um, so it's a really phenomenal trade right now. And, um, so let me, I want to keep a close eye on it because I'm also in the trade right now, but I'm going to go to a one year day chart. And if you look at this one year day chart, this thing was high was 468 and then it just gapped down all of a sudden. And now we're getting this big green candle. Um, so the next point of resistance will probably be around the dollar 87 mark. But if we can get through that, then we're looking at the $2 mark resistance. And if we can go through that, then we're really looking at some serious movement today. Um, let me go to a five day, maybe I'll pull up a five day, five minute chart for you. So this thing recently gapped down, hit a low of, uh, recently gapped down, hit a low of 124. And, you know, it's broken above, you know, it's past few days, you know, it's highs or lows, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you see right here, like this was probably, I think it was yesterday's aftermarket hours. So it's broken above that. It's, you know, so, and another thing to look for is if you go, let me, this is some where it gets kind of serious. If I should say, if you notice, um, on a one year day chart, the 200 moving average is all the way up there. So if you go from like a later time frame from a one year day to maybe a 180 day chart, you don't have to use a 180 day. I just personally use it 180 day chart. Then you go down to a 20-day chart, and you notice the stock is all still below the 200-day moving average. This is the 9. Um, I believe I have this as the 50, 100. I, I got to double check. I'm not exactly sure what I have up here right now, but this is the 9 moving average. But when you keep going from a, um, a longer time frame down to a sooner time frame, so I went from 1 year to 180-day to a 20-day, and the, the 200, the purple line, is still above the nine moving average. Now, as I move into like a five day, five minute chart, look at, ready? The blue or the, the purple 200 moving average is still below the nine moving average. But when I move into the one day, one minute chart, the blue line has now crossed with the purple line, signaling an uptrend, a huge uptrend. And that's why you see this huge movement. 
that's what a lot of day traders look for. They look for spots like this where a stock has been trading downward for a long time, um, and then you know they they wait on it, they wait and they watch it, and then they get ready because as soon as the nine moving average crosses the two hundred moving average, you get moves like this. So this is really what you guys want to start learning how to spot. And it's not easy. It's a patient waiting game because look at this. If I go back to, let me go back to the one-year day chart. I mean, look at this thing, right? This thing has been trading for, what's this, you know, a couple months below the 200-day moving average, and then it gapped down. So there's been people that have had their eyes on this for weeks, months maybe. And, you know, so being patient and waiting to strike at the right time is what it's all about. Um, you know, I'd rather be patient and strike hard with, you know, a lot of shares and get good percent moves like this then you know take crappy and shitty trades here and there just getting small movement um, you know and that's what you really want to look for you gotta look for a perfect setup and then you hit hard you strike hard you know what I mean um, so like I said this thing's just trickling all the way up so you know it's touching the nine bouncing back up touching the nine bouncing back up um, if I go into the trades and shares right watch what's gonna happen right I'll, I'll if, if it continues to do what it's been doing, I, I mean, I should be able to predict this. You're going to start getting sell-off. These, So let me zoom in a little bit more. So right now you're going to get sell-off, right? That's why you see all this red here because this is the trades and shares and the time. You're getting red. So you'll probably get one, maybe two red candles, and you'll see all this turn red as it is right now. And then it'll, you'll see these uh, the candles come close to the nine moving average, and then it'll all turn green and probably start bouncing back up. It may even do it right now, right? But what we're going to look for right here to see if it, if it does what I think it's going to do, it's going to, we're going to get a bunch of red as we have been. And then as the candles get closer to the moving average, the blue line, just like they did here, you'll start to see an increase in volume again and an increase in green. See, see what's happening? We're getting green now. If we break above this candle, we'll probably pop up and start shooting up again. That would be ideal. Um, and it's been doing it all day. Uh, let me turn my phone back on. Let me see what's going on here. And to um, all of you guys who like my videos, I post in the Tech Buds group um, and comment on them. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the good feedback. Um, I hope you know, for the most part, it seems like the videos are beneficial to you guys, and you know, some of you guys are walking away, um, and, you know, walking away with some knowledge and or whatnot. So that that's the key. That's pretty much the purpose of making the videos and the fact that I like making the videos right it's kind of fun um, and in doing so making these videos I'm talking to myself as I'm going through them so it drills all these key indicators and it drills all these rules into my head even more so rather than just you know just doing it you know in silence shall I say um, so with that being said I will keep posting videos um, for you guys like this I will show you more videos um, on how to set up some other scanners that I have here. Um, so now we're getting some big sell-off. This could be the turning point, but you never know, right? And if it is, then I will definitely get out of the trade. Um, but I personally think this thing's going to keep going, you know, like all day. Um, and to be honest, I had a uh, I had a dentist appointment to go to at 11, but I just called and rescheduled for Monday because if I have to be in the stock and watch it, I'm definitely not going to the dentist, that's for sure. So, um, this is uh, what you call a perfect setup, you know, and if it keeps doing again, like we see, we'll see some sell off, and then the next candle will probably go red or it may go green. Obviously, it's going red or green, it's got to be one of the two. Um, but, you know, hopefully, we can break through this um, 173 mark and then we'll continue upwards. Let me zoom out some. But as you can see, I mean, look at this chart. That is, I mean, it's huge, freaking huge. Um, and personally, I think this thing's going to keep moving. Um, so like I said, I will post some more videos of scanners for you, how to set some other really good scanners that will help you find stocks like this. Um, and trust me, it's not going to be every day that you have a stock like this. Like this just so happens to pop up on my scanner today, um, and I get in on it because I see the perfect setup. Um, I took uh, there's a there's a few other trades that went on today that I'll post videos of later when I get the chance 
Um, I know Ricky's working on getting them in as quick as he can for you guys. Um, so give him some time. The dude's probably super busy with all the stuff he has to control with his YouTube channel and this channel or the Tech Buds group. So give him some seconds, but he'll get the videos up for you and I will keep posting them as we go. And any questions you guys got, just comment in. I'll try and get to them as best I can with my work schedule and so on and so forth. So happy trading guys and I hope you guys crush it this week.